Johnny to eat seafood. Y'all gonna have to clean up this seafood broil, bruh. It's a wrap. It's hot back here, too. Got the tilapia patties under the bed. The lobster. We just gonna let that one bake in the sun. Ah. Hey, babe, just come get me on exit 59. It's a wrap, bro. Y'all can have this. Y'all not about to play with my money. Y'all not about to play with my money. Hey, come get I'm, I'm a, uh. Bro, it's a wrap, bro. <laughs> it's a wrap, bro. Let me know when you're ready. I'm ready now. All right, mid-range in the building. Bro, you start you you started some shit, my G. You 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 started you you started some shit, man. I mean, you let, let's let's just take it back before we pull the onion off. I mean, before we peel this onion, man. So how you know how long you been driving? you know how you know what you was doing before driving and you know how did you and what made you get into driving let's get into all of that first okay uh i've been driving for two years uh this month so i've been driving for two years um i had a cleaning business before this mm -hmm. so uh you know the cleaning business is making a couple thousand a month me and my wife splitting the money mm -hmm. you know we're not really making that much but i'm trying to grow that you know but um you know in the midst of trying to grow that she got in a car accident, a drunk driver hit her, hit my car on the way to come get me from one of my contracts. Mm -hmm. So, um, totaled my car, I ain't have insurance, you know, I was, I was messed up. So, you know, I had to, had to do something. It was either mailman or, or driving truck. It's trying that I could do right now and make some more money that, you know, I got five kids. So, yeah, I put in some applications for this, for, you know, for the mail carrier, put in some applications for, you know, some, some truck driving, uh, schools. So, you know, the truck driver came in first, and they need trucks, so they they responded to So basically, you so basically you didn't you 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 just got into the you you just got into the truck so you could just try to make some you know try to try to make a better better living for you and your wife because of the accident, right? Yeah, sir. And she is, and I, I, I know I got a couple of people that drive trucks, and they you know they. So I'm checks thirty five hundred five thousand a week. I'm like, yeah, I gotta get this. Mm. Okay, okay, that's what's up. All right, sure. so so your your wife got into an accident, uh, and that that put a little bit of financial bind on you. Uh, the cleaning business still going at this time or no? Yeah, yeah I still got that again. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's what's up, man. All right, so. You you got into you got into trucking. So where you, you went to school to get your license, or you went through rail to get your license? Yeah, I went through rail. All right. So since you went through rail, how was that experience? Because rail pay you know pay you guys for training, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was cool. Um, I went out there right before, well, right after the pandemic, right before everybody got stimulus money, none of that. Uh, Stimulus and all that money like that. So mm -hmm. I, I I felt like I went out there at the wrong time because I'm out there making 500 a week for training, but people getting 700 a week for nothing. I'm like, oh, man, come on now. Like, literally the week I went out there. Come on, man. Okay, don't, so don't, fall, there don't, don't fall into that mindset, <laughs> man. That That's, a, that's the know, problem that it. we got now. That is it's, the it's problem that, that, that we got right now, bro, is everybody fell into that mindset of I could just sit at home and just get this money instead of going out doing some work. Now all that money ain't coming in no more and we still got hey, people yeah, need to come out to say, work. Exactly. exactly. That's what I was gonna say. The, the, I know a lot of people that got the eight thousand and they get seven hundred a week. And mm -hmm. As soon as that was over, they was broke. I see and I'm still making my money so Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Still make it exactly. That's the mindset you need to be in. For those people oh, you know, that's you know. not getting the money, you're still getting the money. So regardless right, of right. regardless of how much they was giving you a week, now was you getting paid? Now how how was the how was the getting paid to be trained for your CDLs work though? Because they said it was a, it, it, it's a, it's a, it's it's a certain kind of way that 
that that program, that side of the program work. So did they did they started paying you like right off the rip when you got into the class or was it a week, two weeks? What? What? what how did that work? Um, so, so for, I mean, we get paid every week, but for some reason we were two weeks in the house. We didn't get paid until uh, like the third week. Mm-hmm. We got we got paid the first take the third week, but I, I think they did it because you you went training for four weeks. So once you get out of training, you got to wait until a trainer is available to come get you so you can go over the road. Mm-hmm. So I think they do it because you got to, and then you know, so you can still make at least another couple takes just in case it takes two or three weeks for your trainer to be available. So so theoretically, you should still. You know, like I said, you know, I tell people all the time when they come, you know, get into trucking and when they go uh, to the trucking schools and all like that, to always come with some pocket money. You know what I'm saying? So literally those first two weeks, you was you you was broke until that last third week when you actually got a paycheck. Right. Luckily, after the first week, I got that settlement from the from the uh, OK, so I didn't have a son on my car. Mm-hmm. But it wasn't our fault. So since they they weren't trying to pay for it at first, so you know they they finally this was probably a month after the accident they finally decided we had to go ahead and pay for it. So they put me in a rental car. I went out there and got a drop top Mustang, drove out to rail, you know, Wisconsin. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm in a drop top Mustang for the whole time I'm out there, and they gave me you know a few thousand for my car being totaled and stuff okay. like that. So. Okay, so well, you, you, got out, lucky. Got you, you got lucky. You got lucky. You got lucky with that. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, sure. okay, that's what's sure. up. All right, so so you got so through through the program, you you know we're gonna accelerate this. So through the program, you got your you know you got your CDLs and you you got you got paid and and Rail brought you on. And this is so this the duration with Rail has been two years before you actually quit. Um, yeah, it was two years before I quit. Uh, a lot of people I, I went to the school with, they quit in three to six months. They, you know, went to different companies and they, they love their companies now. They hate it real, man. I'm like, not, not so sad on nobody's truck company, but you know, um, they, you, you can look them up. They like number 80 on, on the list of top truck jobs. You know what I mean? Like top, top companies. So, all right. So and you, you try to, you, you try to stick it out. So, of course, not only that you got paid uh, to go to school and to get your license, but Rail also paid for your license, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so they paid for the schooling and they paid for the schooling and everything. So coming in there, did did you have to sign some type of contract and give them a give them an obligation like a year or six months or something like that? Yeah, we had to give them uh, 120,000 uh, miles, 120,000 miles. It took me about, it took me a little over a year. Um, right when I was about to be done, I got hit in the parking lot um, by another semi-truck. So I ended up being off work for like a month, so it, it threw my back a little bit. So it took me about 14 months to complete it. Oh, okay, okay. But before, but before the incident, uh, before the incident, before you quit, you you already satisfied that obligation though, so you don't have to, you don't owe yeah, rail, yeah, yeah. you don't owe rail anything as far as getting your license through them, right? No, no, I don't. All right, man. All right, so driving with rail, uh, got your license through rail, but obviously something along the way happened, man, like. Take us back to that day, man. Like, like, let me ask you this: did Did you really abandon the truck on the highway? <laughs> all right, let, so let me let me get to the other part first, and then I'm I'm, I'm gonna give you all the kick, right? <laughs> so, um, you know, working with Red was cool. Um, you know, they they don't do local, they don't do home based. Um, so I went over the road at first. I was over the road uh, a week out, home a day and a half. I couldn't really do that because of my kids and they all play sports and then they, I got to, I got five of them. So I got to be there for them. Everybody got different locations to go at the base. So you know, I got to, I got to play my part. So, um, I was going to get another job and they like, okay, instead of getting another job, we could probably put you on home day so you, so you can stay with us. So I did that. Um, it was cool. It was, it was cool for a minute. 
but it was, I think that since they let me do that, they thought that I was one of their slaves. I mean, so they had tried to, they had tried to send me out, knowing I got to be home with my kids and they offered me to be home daily. They had still tried to keep me out for, for a few days at a time. It didn't work out. So I ended up quitting before I took the truck back to, uh, back to Gary. Um, I flew myself back. So once I flew myself back, uh, they called me, called me, blew my phone up. They offered me some more stuff. So I'm like, okay, that sounds good. That's cool. Let me go back and get the truck. They flew me back out. I got the truck, started working again. Um, and it's like every, probably every two or three months, they try to go back to not fulfilling their obligation that they said that they were going to do. I didn't ask for this. I was going to get another job. I had people with trucks that wanted me to drive for them. I had, you know, easy to get another company job. So I wanted to leave. They wanted me to stay. So the last time, um, I got a job through Variant in January that just passed. I called COVID. Um, I didn't have no money. I was, my car got repoed while I had COVID. Um, I had no money. So I'm like, okay, look, I got to go make something happen. I'm not making money through y'all. And these people are paying me more. So I ended up taking a job with Variant. They want to fly me out to Dallas. Um, I had everything set in stone. I put in my two week notice with Rail. Rail tell me, hey, we'll get you to, if they're paying 57 cents a mile, we can at least get you to 51. And, you know, if that works, then, then we can do that. I'm like, okay, cool. Oh, 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 hold up. Wait, wait, wait. Rail was like, you you told Rail that you was getting paid 57 cents a mile from, from Variant. And the only thing yeah. they and the only thing they can offer you is fifty one cent. They couldn't even they exactly. couldn't they couldn't even split the difference. Like come down the middle at maybe like fifty three and a half, maybe. Right, and that, that's that's what I was trying to get. But only thing, I'm comfortable with the job. I'm used to the job. It's easy to me. I'm you know I'm it, it was it, I'm comfortable. So I'm like, okay. Let me pay and make another couple hundred dollars a week or whatever. That'd be that'd be decent. Along with that, I tell them Varian says that they can give me anywhere I want to travel on my hometown. And I do, you know, I do comedy. I do, uh, you know, I'm on the internet. I'm, I'm blowing up on the internet. I'm meeting bigger people. I need to travel. And, I, you know, I'd rather travel with my job and make some money and get to my destination like that. So they said that, okay, on, along with the raise, we'll let you go over the road whenever you want to. And we can get you to Atlanta or Florida or along the East Coast, you know, if I'm going to New York, I'm going to Jersey, I did videos there, stuff like that. So I was on the road for a month and a half. I came back to me. So, and I asked them before I, I agreed to this, will I keep my raise once I come back to my dedicated position? They tell me, yeah, let me make the call real quick. He get on the call, he called me back. Yeah, we, we got to check. You, you going to gonna still make that money. Mind you, I'm leaving a job so I can make more money. They offered me more, so I stayed. When I came back to the dedicated, they took my raise back and said it was a misunderstanding. Said, nah, man, you can't. I'm, I'm, I'll quit. I got another job with a signing bonus and more money a week, so that I can take care of my kids. And y'all want to take me back to where I first started at? Y'all can't play with me like so. Then I was ready to. I was really ready to leave the truck in. Um, so a, a month passed, month and a half maybe. Um, just probably three weeks ago. Three weeks ago, they called me. They told me, we're going to have to take your 11 cents tax-free away from you. Um, that's $200 extra a week. So how, now my checks are $600. How how can they do that? Like They, they, told, me it was a, it, they told me it was a misunderstanding. I've been, I've been there for two years. 11 cents tax-free. The whole two years I've been getting this money. So now I feel like since, since I put in my two-week notice in January, even though they kept me there, they still try to piss me out for some reason. Um, See, that's that's, yeah, what that, that's that, they, they felt some kind of way. You 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 put in your two weeks notice, yeah. and that's why they that's that's why you think they came back with, oh, okay, well, there's it's been some misunderstanding with the eleven cent, but you was, but you was getting that for the two years that you was there, though. Exactly. I try. I, I'm literally trying to paper saying that we get that money, so. You know, um, yeah, they, they try to play me, man. So that that was the last straw right there. I looked for other jobs. As soon as I found another job, I'm like, all right, so here, here's the kicker. So you asked was, did I really abandon the truck? I did not abandon the truck. <laughs> I didn't abandon the truck. So what I do 
I call it reality comedy. I go viral. I'm like Beethoven with the bass on it. Mid class kids who went pop. Death to the hater won't stop. Let's talk key scales won't drop. You don't even need a scale to know I'm on top. Me and Mozart, bars, you got pops. Urge writing the Tiffany, a whole symphony. You a symptom to me, but go off. Or make a masterpiece for you, or at least it's gonna hit like rump, pump, pump. Y'all fit to me like the symphony. Your career's done, done, done.